Okay, so we'd just gone back into Colin's childhood, hadn't we? And uh, we needed to work out how we're going to get back in the building. Neil insists he knows a way. Is that presumably this will show up? Let's go talk to Eva. So on the other side, right? We could just shh. Oh, I see a sparkle. Let me see, grab the sparkle. Look, Neil. All we need to do is uh, get over that wall. I don't know what you're planning, but let's try and keep it simple. Don't worry, it doesn't get any simpler than this. Is he going Super Saiyan again? What the hell's that? Is that... Hook <laughs> Neil's been playing too many video games. Come on, give me a break. I've always wanted to try this. Alright, I guess it's straightforward enough. hi yeah. Oh, we actually have to control it, do we? Oh, no. There was a delay. No. Try again. There does seem to be... A... What are you doing? That wasn't high enough. I know. Not for me, it isn't. Ready. I can feel it, Eva! What? This hook shot. Is the hook shot that will pierce the heavens? Okay. <laughs> Dude, unshrink Neptune and put it back in orbit right now. Relax, it's a copy paste, not a cop cut paste. Not to mention it's part procedurally generated. This game, it's its just like the polar opposite. It's, it can be, send you into a, a, a head spin of tears and emotion one minute, but then it can just be out and out absurd funny. Now let me just turn it into localized gravity. Wait, what? What is wrong with you? What? He said it was all right to use the hook, my hook shot. Well, let's just turn the gravity off and... Bye, Neptune. Thanks for the lift. <laughs> At least it wasn't Uranus. What was that? Nothing. Let's get going. So has Colin actually learned to play the cello yet? Huh. Talk about staying up past bedtime. Don't even bother. It's not going to fly over, you know. We're too far apart. So... Are you ever going to finish telling me that story? Hmm. The one with the injured bird you found when you were a kid. There's not much to it. You know how it goes. The bird had a broken wing and I took care of it for a while. The vet took it in afterwards, but... But what? Bert, it tried to steal... But I tried to steal the bird back. Really? You thought you'd take better care of it? Of course not. I knew I shouldn't have. Then why? Because it was my only friend, I guess. Oh. I just didn't want to let it go. Wow. What a load of sappy sacrosin. I, I can't even pronounce that. My brain's not... I told you I'm coming down with a cold. I might give you a handkerchief for a dog or even a cat, but a bird? I knew I shouldn't have said anything. Everyone I told that story to either thought that or got bored to sleep. Yeah, can't help you there. 
But everyone goes into things with their own context, I, you know. Maybe it's only fair that they didn't ca care much for it. Maybe the bird was something different to you than it was to them. Or maybe you just sucked at telling that story. I'm guessing it may be the latter. I just wanted them to relate. Yeah, how did that work out for you? Not every story is meant to be told, you know. Some of them are meant to be kept. So, how'd it end? I... I think the bird flew off. I think I lost it, but it came back to say goodbye one day. You think? I don't know. I kept on mixing up reality with daydream back then. I guess I was living in my head a little too much. While it would explain the strange th stuff we've seen where trees have turned into lockers or vice versa. Huh. You're getting better at this. I used to daydream about taking off on a big paper plane, you know. We'd fly over the world seeing all kinds of sights. And I could just fly across from balcony to balcony. Well, that's dumb. You can't fly on paper planes, silly. No, duh. I mean, if you really want to fly so bad, why don't you go and become a pilot? Heh. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Yeah, why not? What do you mean, why not? One doesn't simply just go and become a pilot. Why doesn't one? Because... How? Well, planes take off from airports, right? It doesn't hurt to find one and ask. That's... If only I could be that simple. If you just let it be, maybe it could. Oh, her parents are back again. I should go, Colin. I know. Hey. I'm going to look for that airport tomorrow. So we got the note for flying. Did we just go in now? Yeah. Well, seems like he ran into a poster sale. Or puberty. With a balcony room like this, his parents sure are confident in his uh, sleepwalkless nights. Poster of a horror movie. Huh. Didn't think he, he had it in him. Can't see the Pac-Man one. No. No. Rudog plush sits on it, the bookcase. Oh, there's a sparkle there. Poster of a tropical island surrounded by a lagoon and barrier reef. Hmm, that looks familiar. It's the same place as the painting hanging above his bed in his elderly days. Oh right, I also saw this exact picture in the attic earlier. For a teenager, he sure had some old-fashioned taste in posters. I presume we're going out. Nothing on the table. I mean, if you really want to fly so bad, Faye said, why don't you just go and become a pilot? So this green book from the shelf is just a journal. Seems legit. Okay. Oh, oh, well, we have got all three orbs. Okay. Kamehameha time.
Uh, we want the green book, don't we? And presumably, we do go a long one. And we can just do that. There we go. Easy peasy. Of course we're going to activate. I don't know why that's even a choice. What else are you going to do? That you, it's not as if you can go back around and have a look at anything different. It looks like his first job as a co-pilot. Well, so much for a cliffhanger of uh, whether he became a pilot, eh? More like cliffhanger. Oakland Center, Cactus 135, cruising flight level 3960. Cactus 135, Oakland Center, altimeter settings 3007, see ya. Altimeter 3007, Cactus 135, out. See Greenhorn, you gotta play by the rules and use them on proper radio words. Every single time. Even when you're not on the radio at home to your wife. But the chief instructor said, Do I look like the chief instructor? Is her face also endowed with this award-winning moustache? Don't think I'll uh, be going easy on you just because this is your first flight with the company. As my first officer, there are only two things I ever want to hear from you. There, yes, Captain, and landing gear down. That's funny, sir. Do I look funny to you? No, you don't, sir. What did I just say to you? The only two things I expect to hear from you. Yes, Captain. So I do look funny to you. Uh, landing gear down? Son of a gun. They send me all the brainless pretty ones. This can't be serious. Well, you know how memories get exaggerated sometimes. I hope. <laughs> Captain Ernst. So can we interact with anything? Yes, Captain. The book. Is he still keeping journals in this thing? It's just some sort of pre-flight checklist glued on there. Assume we go back into the cabin. Charlene, well, how was the first day? Is Captain Ernst always like that? I barely did a thing, but sit there. Ha, huh, yeah. You should probably get used to that for a while. Forget about him, though. You got any plans for the night? The other flight attendants and I were thinking of taking you out for some drinks to celebrate. I'll tell them thanks, but I'd better head straight back home. My wife's just about halfway into her first trimester. I'm always looking for for long enough as it is. I'm away long enough for as long as it is, yeah. Wow, double congrats. Got a name picked out yet? Yeah, we're thinking Asha. Is that something next to him? Yeah. I have no idea what it is. It looks like a green egg. Remember, I'm seeing this in a very small window. It's... Oh, it's his pilot cap. Okay. This moves them all directions. Well, surely all I need to do is do that up. And that. That didn't seem too complicated. Go on, ask him. Um, excuse me. 
Are you an airline pilot? It's a small municipal airport, kid. You won't find any airlines here. I'm a charter pilot. You looking to charter a plane? I'm looking to learn to fly. Can you teach me? Looking for an early start, huh? Sounds like you want to talk to the flight school instead. Make a turn up ahead and follow the hall. They'll deal with you at dispatch. See, I told you it was worth a try. Wonder if we can interact with anything. No, you. No. 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 Ooh, piece of candy. Ah, give me my fix, you stupid thing! Why do I never learn? It's not cat bus, it's cat plane. What in the world is that? Just leaving something for the class. Maybe the head should have been smaller for aerodynamics sake. Who cares? It's got extra propulsion coming out of its butt. Can we talk to Colin as well? Well, maybe someone would find amusement in this. Even as a kid, Colin was a miserable git, wasn't he? We do f offer flight training and you do meet the requirements, but it's costly. Is there any other weight at all? Well, that's not up to me, say. Uh, not up to me to say, but why don't you check with the owner? He's on a hit, uh, break right now. I'll let you. I'll let him know you're coming. The owner of the entire airport? Yep, it's his family-owned airport. His office is at the other side of the hall. Did you hear that? It's family-owned. What does that mean? It means that it's owned by a family, duh. And it also means it's also probably mafia. <laughs> mafia? Huh? What mafia? Uh, and I'm behind you, you know. Yeah, just like the Godfather. Let's go visit. W what? Silly kids. No, can't bust out of here yet. You've got to be kidding me. So, you're the kid they told me about. Is it just a floating cat? Look, sir, I don't want any trouble. Of course you don't, son. There's word out on the street that you want to become a pilot. Yes, sir. But you have no experience? Uh, no, sir. No background? No. And you have no money? I don't, sir. Yet you come here on the day of my own daughter's flight exam to request my hospitality to make use of my facilities without an offer? Do you disrespect me and my family's airport? Psst, tell him you've got strong arms and you can help out around the airport. Um, I've got reasonably strong arms. Oh, are you saying you're up for the for work? Yes, you are! Uh, yeah, I am. Hmm. Interesting proposal. It's true, there have been a few positions opening up recently. Perhaps we could use a hand. Very well, your offer is one I won't refuse. 
Another amaretto sour, Ricardo, and hold the amaretto. <laughs> Kid, you work for me now. With the earnings, you shall pay for your training, one flight at a time. Quick hand, thank him and step back. Th th thank you for your kindness, sir. See, you did it. Wait a minute. All that happened is just that I applied for a job. Shh, you're practically the underboss now. <laughs> So, uh, assuming exaggeration of memories, is this like racist to Italians? I can't tell. Italian ain't isn't a race, Neil. But he does seem to have a tendency for getting creative with his memories. Hey, maybe he, that's just what he's he gets for watching that movie when he's eight. <laughs> Anyhow, let's uh, see if the Don is, has anything for us. So, presumably, the note. Can we get round there? There we go. Amaretto sour without the amaretto. Uh, presumably, I want to stack up on the the left or the right, don't I, really? There we go. Finally, some tropical air. There you go, sir. Your amaretto sour. Hold the amaretto. Thanks, just the way I like it. And for you, lady, your amaretto sour holds our. Why, thank you. I didn't know you guys make this. Are you going to be able to handle all that lemon juice? It's an old favourite. We're actually here. You've wanted to visit for a long time, haven't you? Is it everything you dreamed it would be? Well, when you've got expectations. But yes, it's still beautiful. How about you, though? Hmm? You know, spending half our savings on a delayed honeymoon and all that. Hey, now, now's not the time to think like that. We'll bounce back up. I got quite a few gigs waiting when we get back. Not to mention your new job, Mr. Airline Pilot. Don't jinx it. I might still be it might still be a while until I start with the company. Besides, the pay's not going to be good for a while. Hey, as long as you get to wear the cool shades. I talked with Maria last week. We got uh, the flexible hours arranged. So we're ready, huh? Yeah. As ready as we're going to be. You know, this might be the last trip like this we'll have in a long time. What do you mean? He's an airline pilot. He's going to have plenty of opportunities to go for to foreign islands and that. Hey, we'll make uh, the little bastard pay for all the vacations we missed one day. In the meantime, all the more reason to enjoy the rest of it. Here's to the rest of it. Yeah, here's... Oh. Shit, 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 shit. Smooth fella. 
Regret sloppy start. Probably better than sloppy seconds. Can we... Okay, so the amaretto is still the, the clue. Come on, Colin, the water's not that cold. Well, if it's a tropical island, you expect it to be reasonably pleasant. Can we actually go paddle ourselves? No. It doesn't look like we can go left. So it's into the, the beach hut. Come on, can we talk? Fia, you still awake? Told you lemon juice is the way to go. I'm seeing a sparkle by that poster. Or picture. Fainted painting of Bora Bora. So it's not at the memory? Okay. Blank piece of paper. Looks like he's about to lay down some rhymes. Do we have to go back out then now? Oh, his hibiscus. That hibiscus. This is more of a suitable place for that kind of flower. There we go. Yay, backtracking. At least it's a beach. <laughs> As I said, I do like the kind of slightly tongue-in-cheek self-referential... Uh, stuff. It's, it's, it's all very, very self-aware that <laughs> it's all the uh, RPG maker and that. Yep. Prep it. Some triggers change the memory lanes themselves. Okay, we'll try changing it. No. Nope. Can't do that. Okay. And then we do that. And then we can line up three. Okay, that was a little more complicated. As I said, the, the whole thing of you, you prep it and then you activate it, why can't we just do the puzzle and it automatically goes? It seems a little odd. Hey, your shift's about to start at the shop. Okay, I'm almost done here. Did you ever get your homework done yet? I'll do it when there's no customers. Sneaky, I like it. D 
did you get yours done? Hee <laughs> hee, good one. Can we... That's dangerous. She should really get down from there. Can we... No, we're just going underneath the wing. Okay, how far this way can we get? Oh, not very. That's kind of disappointing. I was wondering how far... What of the map we could actually explore, but no. It's all gated off by this weird fog of wall type stuff. Psst. That new kid they hired is really quiet. Yeah, but at least he gets the work done. Doesn't he have a scheduled flight this afternoon? Yeah, but we're a plane short because someone snagged uh, a blown tyre. Unless someone gets cancelled, I don't think he'll get to fly. Does he even have an instructor yet? Beats me. Hey, I think they're talking about you. I know. Shh. I presume we have to go to the shop then, don't we? Oh, he's in, he's in the flight school. Okay, let's... Oh, no, that glo glowed. Blurry entry uh, about working at the airport and face falling asleep on the wing of the plane. There's also some random class notes. Yeah, we'll read them. About runways. The runway numbers actually tell you the direction of the runway. Simply add a zero to the end of the runway number and you might have the magnetic heading it's facing. E.g. 9 means 90 degrees on the uh, magnetic compass, so it's facing east. Uh, this also, it, this is also why numbers on opposite ends of each runway are always 18, 180 degrees apart. So like, look, we're, we're learning stuff now. Each plane has a minimum airspeed it must maintain under each configuration to keep flying. Something about exceeding critical angle of attack and airflow separating uh, from the airfoil, etc, etc. In conclusion, planes are kind of like th uh, the bus in that movie which explodes if it goes under 50 miles an hour. Contrary to some beliefs, engine failure doesn't make the plane plummet out of the sky. The plane would be... A be would no longer be able to climb, but it can still land in auto control or in pilot control glide. Remind us itself, engine failure doesn't make the plane plummet out of the sky. Engine failure doesn't just make the plane plummet out of the sky. Engine failure doesn't just make the plane plummet out of the sky. I wonder why he had to highlight that. Is he still trying to get into the vending machine? Here, let me get that for you. You just gotta unhook it from the inside and Whoa! That is some crazy maneuvering, kid. I've been here for years and I could only I could never figure that out. You must have like some kind of magical vending power. Uh I only know because I have to clean it, so Okay, here's twenty-four dollars in change. Whoa, that's a uh, a lot of pennies. It's okay. I'll I have all day. Okay. So that wasn't actually a memory. No, we can't do anything. Can we interact with anything in here? No. Can we go through the person? No, we can't go through the person. Can we... No, the pennies aren't the memento either. There's got to be two somewhere. Just like that, huh? I guess everyone has their reason to start flying. Hmm, and what about you? Well, just between you and me, flight instructing isn't my real passion. In fact, before I came here to teach... I was an acrobatic skywriting pilot. Whoa, like making stuff appear in the sky with plane trails? Yep, I was darn good too. 
But then I got fired. Why? Total discrimination, I tell you. It was all because they found out I'm an illiterate who dropped out of school. Did they care that it, it, I was most skillful pilot in the fleet? No! But just because I don't read good, they dropped me like a hot potato. Uh, it riles me up just thinking about it. Yeah, that really doesn't sound fair. Well, um, maybe if I need your service one day, I'll be able to hire you. Thanks, kid. Man, first you get me my soda, then you vow to give me my lifelong <laughs> life meaning again. I see that I'm going to have a flight instruct the hell out of you. That went well. She sure makes herself at home. Maybe Faye has narcolepsy. No. I'm wondering what the memento is. Hmm. We might be uh, in a bit of a rut. There's still a memory link missing and the readings indicate we've activated everything in the area. Uh, maybe we could stimulate his memory somehow. Hopefully let's keep our eyes open. Let's actually try and stimulate him. Uh, no. I thought just standing behind him and kind of massage his temples, maybe he'd uh, do something. That's a lot, a lot of pennies. Uh... Can we... Nothing we can interact with, I can see. Maybe we have to go back out to... Did you feel that? What? I don't know, some kind of breeze. Okay, follow the shadowy figure. Well, not so much shadowy as a static figure, wasn't it? That one tile he keeps sweeping must be super clean. Uh, yeah, we know they're talking about us. Is it the black silhouette? I got everything prepared and ready, sir. I've done every weight and balance calculation, pre-flight checkup, and documentation. Documentate. Do uh, brain's going fuzzy. Document check. Cool, but the wind's picking up, so your solo cross-country flight's cancelled. Why does this always happen to me? We can't go into the Don's office. Definitely. Huh, this wasn't open earlier. Did you do that? Uh, if I did, would you know? I've been literally right behind you. In fact, I don't even know why I'm just following you in a constant manner. Ooh. Creepy? Um... Crack in the world? What the heck is this? I don't know. But it seems like this may be our ticket out of this memory. So what? We need to way to continue and this place just magically opened itself up? In the most unsettling way, no less. I'm not sure what's going on with this place either. But there's only one way to go now. Come on, we gotta jump. Oh, hell no. I can't even look down. It's only way to find out, Neil. Okay, I'm jumping in three, two. Quit pushing me off ledges, Eva. What? I didn't push you. The fuck you didn't. Conveniently. Also, this is part of the kind of the cover poster art type thing. Hey, you hanging on all right? What is even going on? What is this happening? 
Wait, tone down your ham. <laughs> tone your ham down. <laughs> Get on inside. What is even going on and why is this happening? You're doing just fine. You're not going to die. Now, do you have the runway in sight? I, I think so. Okay, fly the approach and don't forget the cockpit check. Um, mixture fuel rich, uh, primer in and locked. Zero Yankee Romeo cleared to land on run runway 201. Zero Yankee Romeo. We're too high. Get some flaps in there. Speed, lower the nose. All right, I have control. Oh, thank God. Hold on, looks like we're gonna land. And touchdown. I think Neil might be hyperventilating. Hey, you all good? No, Eva, that's not all good. I, I'm not all good. In fact, I'm dead. <laughs> Get the fuck up. All right. Follow the plane, I'm guessing. Is it normal to feel kind of dizzy? Don't worry, you'll get past it in time. You know what? Here, take my hat. Ah, you remind me back when I was a young lad. As in, back then, I also knew someone else who was nervous like you. Hey, you look pretty cool in that. This was nothing compared to the acrobatic skywriting flights I've done. I tell you, one day I'm going to get back to that. Uh, we got control again? Yes, we have. Okay, presumably the hat then. Yes. Bam, right. Another headshot, Eva. No scope. Booyah! Give him a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky I programmed my head to be as hard as a rock. <laughs> you sure planned ahead. Okay, it's the pilot's hat. So, something like that. And then we can just line these three up, surely. Yeah. Alright, we need another. Okay. Shift that along. And then we want... I didn't want to get the, the handkerchief thing, but we got it. See, I forget I always have to activate it afterwards anyway. Seems dumb. Sophia, will you marry me? Oh, Sophia, will you marry me? <laughs> well, he did warn him. Regret. Misspelt proposal. So is he just going to get somebody else to do the sign writing? Um... So that's why he got fired. No. Oh, the cello probably, yeah. Some of these memories are very, very short. Uh, where can we line up the... We 
we need like a three space. Oh, okay, we can. It's, it's all all the way on the right right hand side. Yeah. And then presumably. Um, yeah, then we can just do. Yeah, okay. I was I was thinking it was more complicated than it was. Seriously, only one single orb for the memory of his proposal. Hey, at least he remembered it. Man, how are you able to pilot an aeroplane but not drive a car? Priorities, thanks to you. Come on, we're going to be late. She's sure getting a lot of screen time compared to his wife at this his proposal. There's something about her that really bothers me. Oh, don't take it so personally. It's not like Colin's your husband. That's not what... Ugh, never mind. That's what I want to see. Can we go out into the street? Is there anything? No, road's cut off. I, I was just wondering if there was, you know, a dead squirrel on the road or anything like that. Or if there was a creepy person watching over us again. Or maybe if we get sidetracked, Neil will give us another chest. No. It's worth a try. Hey, actually, what's the matter? You know, I think I'm going to pass on this one. It's your first rehearsal with them, right? You're nervous enough as it is. Hey, I'm not nervous. And even if I uh, were. Well, you'll be you being there would help. I guess, but... I can't always hang around, you know. Besides, you'll be able to concentrate better without me hanging about. Hey, remember how you always used to tell me about your day after school? Why don't you go ahead and you can tell me about all about it after the rehearsal? Okay, then it's decided. Bye! You'll be fine. Wow. What a wacky gal. So is it going to turn out she's actually an imaginary friend or something? Because she's not interacted with anybody. She ran away from her parents on the balcony. She's always talking in his ear, but she's not actually interacting. Hey, got that horn off the couch before... Get that horn off the couch before it gets drool on it. Oh, relax. There's already drool everywhere. Okay. Wow, tight lips. Have you ever been... Have you been working on your... M... Procure? I have no idea. How you... Yeah, babe, the pencil goes wherever my lips go. Okay, this is getting weird. <laughs> Musicians. Yeah. <laughs> Presumably the rehearsal room here. Well, this is where Colin is, isn't it? Anyway. Hey, the rehearsal's about to start. Chop, chop! Couple of blank plate pages. Okay. Well, we know where we're coming back to. Can't play the piano? Nope. Well, this is going to be the first time you meet Sophia then, isn't it?
Nope, another clock. Is this the right place? Uh, I can't believe I'm late. Was that Sophia? I guess so. I want to know why we we're looking at the clock. Also, why is that? Oh no, it's it's the the beam in front of it. I thought it was like the box was slightly transparent. Okay, stop, stop, stop everything. Something was off about bar 36. From somewhere on my right side. By someone in the cello section. Someone sitting in the second row toward the front. Colin, is it? I think you were rushing a bit. Better watch that. Uh, I will. Alright, let's pick... Uh, pick back up from bar 35. Right into the solo. Ready? I was going to say, it was, it was going to be a piano solo. It wasn't going to be a cello solo. <laughs> Can we leave again now? Uh, they can go in any direction then, so it's going to be... Is it the book we, we're looking at? It must have been. No, I didn't mean to do that. All oh, right. We can pass through there. Uh, scooch that across and one more. I made that one more complicated than it needed to be. Also, why is this book blank in the future then? If he's had it all his life and used it as a journal and, you know, pre-flight checklists, he's obviously had it connected with his music in that. All right, I'm done with mine. Me too. Let's see what you got. What is that? My best effort. Going on dates already. He sure moves fast. Well, we're we still we're still skipping around. Sometimes probably past. It's a clownfish. What's his? It's a bad clownfish. <laughs> Gee, I wonder how who he learned to draw like that from. Anything over this side? There is a corridor. So, oh, there's just a light on the floor. Okay. We can go that way. Okay, we'll do the top bit first. Though, I'm guessing it's going to be yay backtracking again.
Oh my god. What's she seen? Jellyfish? She got to think about jellyfish. Jellyfish! Uh, are you feeling alright, Eva? So many of them! Well, uh, it's good to have interest other than gardening, I guess. A giant walled aquarium. Okay. Don't care. Go take care of the memory, will you? Just leave me for a while. <laughs> right. Okay. So we now know Eva likes jellyfish. Well, I guess I've always loved the piano, but... When I was a kid, I had a piano teacher. Every time I played, she'd made me feel like the worst pianist in the world. For a while, I'd stopped going and I stopped playing. But I guess I was a kid with no self-esteem because it really got to me. And whenever I doubted myself, I remembered her words. One day, I had enough. I said to myself, someday, I'm going to be a concert pianist. But isn't that like, isn't that letting her dictate what uh, you do with your life? Well, I guess I have a weird way of seeing things. To me, it doesn't sound, it doesn't matter much which path I take as long as I make the most of it. There's only so little time in this life and we'd never be able to do all what that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things to try, other paths to take. So in the end, I think it's just, I just have to be satisfied with the ones I took. But I'm just blabbering now. Enough about me. How about you? What made you want to become a pilot? I... I wanted to fly to places. That's it? A long time ago, a friend of mine went somewhere far away. I guess I just wanted to go find them again. Anything important going up on up there? Not sure. I was staring at the sharks. Okay, call me when we're ready to move on. Okay, it's the paper airplane again. These must be like coat racks or something. Right. Well, we we have to go down that other corridor then. It's not going to be a picture of Bora Bora on the wall, is it? No. <laughs> hey, where is it going? Whoa. For a cephalopod, you are... It sure is cuddly. It actually kind of tickles. Regret is an ink, ink attack. Okay. Well, that's an easy fix. Don't touch it next time. Do we have to leave Eva to a jellyfish? Or do we have to get her to help us with the Kamehameha ring? Let's have a look. Go on, I'll be right there. Okay. Look, he doesn't do it when he hasn't got an audience. Okay, well... We... 
Well, we can only go that way with the, the red X's, then, can't we? Really? Yeah. It's literally the only way we can go. Okay, I realise. And then we need to get it pass through. Maximum charge. Hey, we're good to move on now. Go on then, I'll catch up. She really likes the jellyfish. Or is she going to have a, a spooky encounter again? You sure are taking your time. Hey, no one's kicking me out. Good thing I got my hours in time. Huh? You better have. It's going to be a different world out there. You ready to go? Yeah, in a moment. You done with your jellyfish phase? It's not a phase, and yes. What's going on here? Not sure yet, but the place sure looks deserted. So, the airport's got closed down then. Wanna draw a plane? No one will be here to see it anyway. Well, leave your mark anyway. It's a perfectly good whiteboard there, you just need to graffiti it. No, we're not going out. It's locked. Okay. What about the Darn's office? I can see them in the uh, gift shop. Is this where we can get the duty free? Oh, there's a poster on the wall that's glowing. Notice of airport closure. Hmm, I guess all things come to an end. Probably in the cafeteria as well. You always looked at that picture, yes? I had them save it for you. Just a little something to remember this place by. Thanks, boss. You've done good work for us, kid. Honest, respectful work. Oh, and I almost forgot. Your favourite plane's still here for one more day before we move her. If you want to give her one last flight before then, it's on the family. So, now we'll be able to go outside then, I'm guessing. These shelves sure look weird being empty, huh? This whole place does. Okay, thanks boss. Can't look at the picture. Let's go into the cafeteria. Though I don't think there's anything in here. A solitary lamp. That's not turn on or fable. Uh, well, there's an arrow there. I want to see if we can go get the plane. Or oh, that may actually be the memory. Uh, the memento. Is it still locked? It's still locked. Okay, then. Okay, the plane's going to be parked out the front of the building rather than on the runway. Hmm. 
Also, no indication of what the memento is. It's certainly not the closure manifest thing. So, what's the next step? With your airport closing down and all? Sure. Well, there's the freight flying job I applied for. I did an interview with them the other day. I think I got a good chance at it. There's still a long way to go, but that'll help me build some more flight hours. Wow. To think that you've actually come so far. It feels like only yesterday we were st still standing on that balcony. Thanks for giving me the kick I needed, by the way. Happy to have obliged. Hey, any progress with that lady from the orchestra? Sophia? Well, we've been talking, and... I don't know. I might try to ask her out on a date soon. Oh, excuse me. But, well, you know how I am with that stuff. Want to help me prepare? Oh, I'm not sure if I'd be of much help with those sort of thing. But if you want my advice, I'd say just work on making yourself more interesting, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, still a work in progress. I'm seeing flowers. That's probably the memento. We haven't been talking as often lately, you know. Sometimes even when I'm here, you just do your own thing. I know. Sorry, it's just been so busy. The good kind though, right? Seems to me like you've got it together. I... Hey, you're going to take up the, that flight the boss offered you? <coughs> Barry said that there's a grass strip near the hill he used to go to, right? Might be a good time to try a landing there. Yep. You coming along? Mm-hmm. Drifted apart, okay. I'm guessing the hibiscus. Sheesh, are they just spreading hibiscus seeds wherever they go? Nothing this way. Did I miss something inside? So, do you think uh, he was just really dense or plain not interested? Why don't you ever twirl your hair like that? Okay. It's odd how such a simple wish of being happy could be so, so tangled up. He sure didn't make it easy on us by being ambiguous with the details. Here, I got an idea. Permanent marker. There. Now let's get go get paid. You moron, you ca just can't draw a smile like that. Lips are red, not black. Great job. Now he looks like <laughs> an affectionate joker. We've got uh, we've almost burnt through all the memories, haven't we? I guess. The vortex should be just up ahead. Good. Maybe that'll help us uh, get to the source of what he wants. As if we don't know that already. Hmm. It's her, obviously. There's a reason she keeps on showing up. The guy's clearly got this childhood sweetheart on his mind and has been asking what ifs. He wants her, but he's got principles. He knows... 
and so he knows he can't have her. The perfect equation for a sad, sad man who needs our help hacking the root of the problem. Are you suggesting to remove her? And well, if we do, you'd be the expert. But whatever happens, we'd have to change something. And in the end, she's the one we could alter the most anyhow. Colin himself said he should try to avoid changing things involving his family, right? And out of these memories, Faye's the only other consistency that we keep coming back to. I guess you're right. We could start with her and work our way up from there. But something still doesn't add up. Hello? Could it be? It's me, Roxy. I'm here. Oh. How's it going in there? Uh, awesomely, of course. How, uh, how are you doing? Did you bring the paperwork? Yep, I brought the paper uh, paperwork all right. <coughs> I also brought Rob. What? I can't stand that guy. I can hear you. Hi, Rob. Hey. Anyway, you guys want to come out real quick to get the paperwork done? We're kind of on a roll here. Maybe we should ask them to help us with the paper papers. Oh, by the way, Neil, I was going to ask. About the machine, I think I saw... I'm heading out. Get the forms ready for a fill-in. Wait, what? You know the protocols, Eva. Colin's our patient now, and one of us has to check the forms. Yeah, but we've let others help before, and headquarters never cared. Maybe we should have cared, Eva. Maybe we should have cared. When were you one for protocol? Anyway, get that last memory link while I'm gone, will you? I won't take long. And call me when you, we're ready to go to the next memory. I don't want to miss it. Hey! Act two. You don't have to leave anymore. So, let me get this straight. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department sucks butt. Look, it was the easiest way. Had I just left it to the company process, it would have never gotten done. Much like this paperwork. Oh my gosh, I just realised you're talking and writing at the same time. That's amazing, I hope you it didn't cause you to make a mistake, I'm so sorry. You know, sometimes even I can tell if you're being sarc even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, and that's saying a lot. Come to think of it, you actually remind me a bit of someone from my pa this patient's memory. She's wacky and all over the place too. Oh, bet I would have loved to meet her. I'm sure you would have. Too bad we're going to have to do something about her. Anyhow, whoosh. The paperwork's all done and signed. Thanks for bringing us in, bringing the docs, Rox. Uh, I'm going to go check on Colin. Oh, you're just going to get get away like that? You might have fooled Eva and Rob, but did you think you could fool a fellow technician? I did a quick diagnostic earlier. Seems like you've been you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigmund equipment, is it? Because your registra registered machine is back at headquarters in your office. I don't know how you're up. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm going to find out. Hey, Rob, how's the situation looking? It's fine. I was 
talking with the medical doctor and... What's with the murderous atmosphere? Oh, Rob, you tripping again? No, I'm not. In fact, tripping again. Is everything oh, going okay in here? Swimmingly, Neil was just going to go check on Colin. Yeah, I'm going to go check on Colin. Can we interact with them? Hey, about earlier. Never mind that. How's progress with the patient? Just well. We've almost unlocked his entire timeline. Then we'll just send the signal and bam, another job well done. Sounds like you've got everything under control. You bet. Hey, look, I still think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. When I, I said uh, I couldn't stand you, I swear it. I was only... It was only because I thought you were listening. Uh-huh. Move along. Can we talk to Roxy? Your coat is so shiny, Neil. Did you get it dry cleaned? How can you switch tones like that without third degree whiplash? Oh, I'm sorry. So, yeah, about the, your machine. Yep, dry cleaning is just the best. Well, the family photo album is sparkling. These are all the same pictures we've seen before. Is there more? Nope. Same lot. Huh. A whole lifetime of memories and we barely ran into any of these nice ones. Pot of homegrown hibiscus. Anything different in the attic? Oh. It's Sophia. You're out early. Just need you to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. Bring up Colin's memories. Uh, would like to, but... You know, doctor-patient confidentiality. What's she looking at, anyway? No, it didn't change anything. Hey, wait. Dr. Watts, right? I know what you saw in there is confidential, but there's something I was wondering. Did you find anything about why Colin put this book in... Put this book here? And like this? No, I actually wanted to ask you about that. He's had it for a long time now, but he kept on replacing its pages. And now it's just filled with pieces of blank paper. If you find something about it uh, that's meant for me, please do let me know. That's all I ask. I'll keep that in mind. No sparkly bits in here? Nope. Do we go talk to Asher and the doctor? The doctor. Taking a breather, huh? Paperwork mostly. How's he looking? Colin's okay so far, but you guys sure are stirring things up in there. Stirring things up? What do you mean? It's his brain activity. He's be it's been abnormally high for a sedated patient. Try not to aggravate him too much in there. Wait, what? We haven't been doing anything different compared to the other any other patient. Hey, I only I'm only telling you what I see. Anyway, just keep on, keep, just try to keep it in mind. Uh, continue to monitor his status. Okay, right. Hey, may I talk to you in the uh, in private for a moment? Uh, well, yes. All right, come on. What's up? There's something I wanted to ask you. 
It's about father's wish and what you saw in there. You know that you know that's confidential, right? Yes, but you must know what it's like being the family of a patient undergoing this procedure. To be honest, my mother was always against it, and I wasn't a big fan either. But if father were to take an, on a new life worth of memories, new life's worth of memories, well, knowing what and why would at least help me come to terms with it. So please, could you tell me? Even though he's a bit of a dick, Neil is a company man and I think he would keep it confidential. Look, as much as I want to spill the beans for you, my hands are tied. Company policies and whatnot. Yeah, I understand. Hey, if it helps, he really did ask for you and your mother to stay as part of his new life. But I can only tell you that much. Hope it still means something. Thanks, Doc. Maybe I should check in with Eva first. Can we just shout at her? She's not going to hear me like that. I'm going to need to use the machine. That, well, that's why I, I went up to it. Patient neural link established. Systems online. View connection status. External neural connections. One. Uh, Eva. Hey, Eva, do you hear me? Neil? Yep. How's it going in there? Just trying to find that the last memory link. Still? There was only one left. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I've looked everywhere. But the scan shows there's one more here somewhere. I'm going to find it. Are you done with the paperwork? Well, I just... Damn it. Where are my pills? Neil? I'd better not have left them in the car again. Hey, are you still there? Sorry, I'm not finished with the paperwork yet. Uh, how long does it take to fill in and sign some papers? It's uh, almost ready. I'll come back as soon as it's done. Alright, just make it quick. I shouldn't take that long to get uh, to the car and back. Okay, why does he need pills? Is he Jones in? Is he actually a methadone addict after all this? Nope, oh, missed it. Also, I wonder if the time of day's changed at all. Oh, we can go and talk to Potato. Hey, mister! I knew you'd come by here. Oh, it's you again. Thanks for kicking Amber's doll into the pond for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, uh, is that your mother? It's okay, I hope you traumatise that kid. She's been picking on my potato for years. It's time she learned her lesson. And now that I, I got an even smaller potato, I was really starting to worry about the future. You named the other kid Potato too? Of course not. Don't be silly. It's just a nickname. His real name is Spud. Oh, by the way, the front desk man said uh, you're here to visit old man Colin. You know Colin? Yeah, he once literally beat up Amber for me. Did I use the word right, Mum? No, dear, you meant figuratively. Oh, um... But whatevs. So anyway, last week, Colin gave me his leftover jar of lemon juice. I haven't seen him since then, though. Could you please give it back to him? Wait, lemon juice? What for? To write spy messages, of course. It's invisible ink. I've always written two secret letters to Spud for when he can read good. Old man Colin said 
he was already done using it, so I could borrow the whole jar if I wanted. Oh. Huh. Lucky me. Lemon juice. So, could you give the jar back to Colin? Well, I don't think Colin needs it anymore. You could probably keep it. Wowie, thanks. I'm going to write a letter to myself. Okay, Potato, it's time to head back home. Oh, all right. Eva, are you calling from the machine? Yeah, at least this function's still working normally. Hey, listen, I think I've figured out Colin's book with the blank pages. That's not important right now. I need you to check something for me. Uh, what? Bye! Is everything going okay in there? Did you find the last memory link? No, are you at the computer? I can be. Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any av aviation accidents? You think she was in a plane crash? I just want to rule that uh, the possibility of something out. I'll send you her exact profile. There's enough data even without a last name. Let me know what when you have the results. Uh, okay. No, we still need our pills. We ring in Roxy. Hello? Hey Rox, uh, are you still on your laptop, right? Yep, yep. I just forwarded a profile to you. Mind helping me running a record check? Sure, mind telling me what you're up to with the machine? Um, Okie dokie, Loki pokey. Uh, it's settled then. I'll call you back with the results. Right, let's go get our pills before Neil completely passes out. I don't know. Is it like angina tablets or something? Does seem a little duller than earlier, so. Oh. Hey, Eva, I'm still working on the. Neil, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Hello, are you there? I'm right here. What is it? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she. Eva? Uh, are you still there? Weird. The comm must be malfunctioning. I'll fix it as soon as I get back. Has Faye broken out of the machine? Okay. It's a slope up. Wait a minute. Hmm, that's a nice bike. Sure wish I had one like it. Roxy. Eva, what happened earlier? No, it's Roxy, you silly putty. Oh. Uh, so how's the record search going? Oh, it's going just great. Actually, no, it's not great at all. Well, what Rob's saying is that it depends on your perspective. What? It's a yes or a no question. Did she die in a plane crash or not? Well... So here's the great part. There's no plane crash to her record. So you won't have to worry about that. Sheesh, why didn't you just say so? There's also no record of her. A simple no would have sufficed. Well, that's not all, though. The thing is, not only is there no plane crash, there's nothing else to her record either. In fact, there is no record of Faye. As in, no record available to public domain? As in, no record in existence anywhere.
We've checked the cul cumulative public record, the private ID network databases, even, well, even a few places we technically don't have access to. Still, there's no record of her for anything. No death, no even a birth. Oh. Oh? So unless Collins got some extreme form of dis distortive amnesiac condition, he doesn't... I checked. Yeah, so... Oh, sorry, I got another call. Hello? He's moving a lot quicker now. Maybe he's on uh, speed. That was a quick act. Even if it was just someone like me. Hey, where are you two going? Company called. We got another patient going live across town. We've got to hop. Sorry, Neil. Knight called, huh? Should have taken a nap. Huh. We're all used to it by now. Seems like you've got your hands full, got a handful to sort uh, out yourself, huh? Yes. Uh, if we, if what we yielded means what I think it means, you might be in for a tricky evening. At least from our experience, patients capable of that tend to be rather peculiar cases. We've read the patient's case, by the way. Care for a word of advice? Well, you're probably going to give it anyway, so... I don't know the details of Colin's life, but this reminds me of a case we've done. Just try to remember that making someone happy isn't only about finding the answers. It could also be about shaping the question. Anyhow, good luck. By the way, don't think you're getting off... Uh, the hook easy. After this is done, you've got some explaining to do, don't you? Uh, and it's going to be so much fun. See ya. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, wait. Something just occurred to me. Although I'm not sure why yet, I don't know that... I do know that you remove the machine stabilizer. But with the patient's subconscious being neurowired to the system's processor, well, I hope you got a backup plan if he's able to get around a single thread firewall. I think we need to get back in there pretty sharpish. Can we just talk to Eva? Uh, view status. Error? Do you hear me, Eva? I'm coming back in. Are you still there? Uh, let's get back in there. Resume memory. Yep. Yeah. Once we get back in, I will probably leave it there, because it seems like, well, we, we are into the last act. But weird stuff seems to be happening. So like I said, I think this phase is a figment of his imagination, but because Neil's tampered with the machine, it seems like she's able to invade, you know, skip through time as well. Back into the, the airport. Wait, something different with uh, Colin's avatar. Huh? Link up to his timeline's overworld got unlocked. Even if Eva's not there anymore, I it'd be easy uh, to look for her from there. Okay, we'll enter the overworld. So that's the vortex in the middle then. Yep. 
Eva, are you here? Every memory of Collins that we've pieced together so far. She's got to be in one of them. Let's scan for activity. Not detected. Okay. Not detected. Where could she be? Let's try the middle one then. The vortex. The vortex of the anomaly that's been bouncing us around. I guess it's near the memory we left off at. Not detected. Okay. Not here either. Okay, final mods. <laughs> the only last place we can look. Dynamic, how can she be in the machine but nowhere in the memories? Unless. System, narrow down Eva's most recent position. Well, duh. Freaking Bermuda Triangle. Guess it's back to the crime scene. System, load up all available recordings from here. I'm heading out. Get the forms ready for a fill-in. Wait, what? Flipping corn cobs. How can this one memory link be so hard to find? And that idiot sure is taking his sweet time. Wait a minute. Are you at a computer? Good. Could you run a record search on Faye and check for any aviation accidents? I just want to rule the possibility of something out. The system's been wiped. Neil, can you hear me? Hello, are you there? Neil, if you can hear me. Listen, I don't think she's real. She's... she's all in his air head and something strange is happening. Hello? Say something. The tree is... there's a glitch in the matrix. What is this? You! What did you do to Eva? Do we get to go Super Saiyan again? This is turning into a Japanese horror game now. What, what the fuck is this? Yep. Damn it, this isn't even freaking genre of the patient I signed for. What do you want? Leave. We can't leave, this is our job. Colin is signed, Colin signed us, Ugh. fuzzy brain. Colin signed for us to be here. He changed his mind. Leave. You don't want... Don't belong here. Fine. You want to play hardball? Let's play freaking hardball.
You may have the host sub subconscious, but I'm still the admin of this world. I never thought I'd have to use this, but you leave me no choice. It's just time to show you my true power. Hang You're gonna pull something. This just to control interface it was a terrible idea. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay. I have no words. <laughs> I think Neil needs to lay off the Saturday morning cartoons and probably um, anything with uh, large amounts of sugar in it. If you think I'm going to show mercy, you'd be sadly mistaken. Give up now, and maybe I'll... Well, that's one way. <laughs> Please leave. Dank nabbit. This is so not what I built that back door for. I guess even my code needs testing for practical use. Ugh, what the heck happened to Eva? I need to get to the bottom of this. Okay, we're back in control. Well, like I said, this is probably where we can leave it. I, I think we're going to hit the finale tomorrow. Uh, if you want to check that out, as I said, uh, well, follow us here. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, follow us here on Twitch. Uh, if you're watching the VODs up on YouTube, uh, give us a subscribe. Let us know what you think in the comments. And, of course, you can reach us on the socials. And shit got weird really quickly. But yeah, so let me know what your theories are. Clearly she is a figment of his imagination. She's taken over the machine. There's this weird glitches in the machine. This this isn't as emotional as to the moon. But it's it's certainly as funny, if not funnier. Um, Neil's gone full, well, he literally went full Super Saiyan in, um, uh, <laughs> in an early episode. But yes, I digress. Uh, if you want to see more, as I say, join us again tomorrow, and I will catch you guys later.